We went on this learning expedition to Israel with Professor Adam Kleinbaum and it was a phenomenal experience. We visited a couple of incubator companies, um, you know, went and talked to a few venture capitalists over there. Uh, we also visited some big box companies like IBM and Intel and got to visit their research labs, got to visit the factory floor at Intel where chips are designed. I've spent quite a bit of time in Israel before, but um, really had never been exposed to its business environment um, in such a direct way. And so the, the conversations that we had with um, executives, entrepreneurs, um, the, the various people uh, that, that we met with at the companies we visited um, were really sort of eye-opening for me to learn about what the business environment is like in this country that in many ways is so different from our own um, and in other ways is, is so very similar. I have been always wondering uh, about uh, the relationship between the three uh, religions, Muslim, uh, Judaism and the Christian. I gave Professor Adam Klamban 10 days and he gave me back 3,000 years in return. Entrepreneurial spirit in Israel was something that you know we all were very interested in. It leads the world as far as innovation is concerned, you know, on a per square foot basis because the country is so small and the number of innovations coming out of that country is just extraordinary. Meeting Shimon Perez was a great highlight of the trip for me personally. Um, he's an inspiring figure and, and really viewed as sort of the elder statesman of Israeli politics right now, who's uh, really widely regarded um, on, all, on all sides of the political spectrum. So we were able to um, have a Q&A session with him um, together with a couple of other business schools. We had great conversations with Professor Adam Kleinbaum. While returning from these uh, company visits, we would have a conversation in the bus and Professor Kleinbaum would ask us about our perspectives and we would utilize that 30 minute time to travel back to our hotel to discuss about company visits, to discuss about our learnings. I think Tuck is the place uh, not only teaches you how to become successful, but also how to be happy. Uh, when we hiked Masada, um, Professor Kamba stopped us and asked us to look back at uh, what we had just uh, accomplished. And uh, all of a sudden, I just felt it's so great to share the joy together with my teammates and also to uh, acknowledge what you know, we all have accomplished together. Not only um, was it a great opportunity to uh, spend some time um, in a really intense kind of way with students learning about um, what their interests are and, uh, and how they relate to the, the businesses that we saw, um, but also thinking about um, you know, the, the ideas that I spend my time exploring um, together with them is something that I'm sure will affect my teaching going forward. I would definitely recommend the Israel Learning Expedition. It's such an integral part of Tuck to help students get a global perspective, and all these learning expeditions play a vital role in doing so.